All right, back with another video, uh, going through my video archive as I've done with the last two videos. As always, I looked through all my old externals, looking for some old projects to talk about. And this time I found a short film I did with two friends. I don't know when that was. 18th of March, 2017. So that's what's, that's like five years ago. And I remember, <laughs> I remember having a lot of fun doing this, but never actually finishing the edit. I mean, that's a running theme in uh, a lot of my projects, just starting something, especially personal projects, starting something and then not doing anything with it. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to see it again after five years. If it's still funny, if it's still good, uh, if I can maybe finish it, you know, that'd be nice. And then show it at the end of this video. So basically what I remember from this project was five years ago. I think either we rented a gimbal. A gimbal is like this how do you say that? It's like a stabilization system that uses gyroscopic three axis GPS coordinated motors to keep the camera in place. It's basically you hook this up into a floating kind of rig. Am I, am I really explaining gimbals to people? <laughs> At the time, five years ago, it it was a pretty new technology and it was, and it was fucking amazing to just put a camera on this device and it stabilizes itself and it makes the footage look really like, like the camera's literally floating. It was mind blowing that we could have actually have access to that. And I think we rented one maybe for another project we were doing or just for this short film. I don't remember. I remember we just wanted to test it out. This short film was kind of like an idea that came out of that. Okay. I want to test out this device, this floating device. And I have this, idea about a banana hostage taking situation so I invited two friends mr lemon who i've talked about already who i worked with he, he came to assist and like try out the camera as well and then uh mr chili let's call him mr chili yeah I, i'm somehow very careful not to mention names i don't know why just want to respect everyone's anonymity especially since i'm sharing this footage and i don't know how they feel about it but also Mr. Chili came down to do some acting and Mr. Lemon actually did some acting now that I think of it. Anyway, uh, let's have a look. So I'm in um, the project. I'm in a project. <laughs> I'm already seeing some fun, uh, weird hostage takings. I mean, I'm pretty sure we got everything we wanted out of this footage. This, uh, you know, getting prepared. So Mr. Chili here is playing a bit of a psycho, a bit of a, I think American Psycho was kind of a, probably an inspiration since I absolutely love that film. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And I, I'm actually recently rewatching Mr. Robot, which is a TV series that also has like American Psycho elements. So it's funny to, to go back to this. So of course at the time, so this is like, I think the first time I'm using a gimbal. These kind of shots were just absolutely crazy to me. Like these tr following tracking shots, you know, behind someone. Yeah, it felt very liberating. I don't really work with gimbals now because I find them very annoying to set up, which is not worth it. And also you kind of, because you're so free, you're too free, you tend to go all over the place. And the shots tend not to be as precise, especially if you don't storyboard like I do. So when you're just free floating with this thing, it can get a little uh, chaotic. Yeah, so like I said, there's this whole intro sequence where this um, somehow rich person wakes up in a nice looking place. But you can tell there's something a little off about him. He's a little... Uh... <laughs> I, okay, this has got to be the golden shot of the shoot. Love it. You gotta have a naked dude in the shower sequence, right? Okay, let me just see. The easiest thing is to probably just make a quick edit. Okay, let's just uh, quickly grade this. Maybe, I don't know if I should put some music on there here, but. Okay, I'm actually gonna properly edit this. Okay, so it's now a few hours later and strangely enough, I really got into the editing. So I spent a few hours on it. Uh, it was a very rough version, so I, it didn't have any sound effects or music. I just mostly spent time doing that, adding sound. 
it, it's it's funny to see a rough cut from something I did five years ago. It's nice to see that I think I improved visually seeing the footage I shot, but the, the essence is still there. The, the humor is still there. Five years ago to now, yeah, it's just just fun, just fun stuff. So, without further ado, uh, here's the video. Hope you enjoy it. Let's try again today. Hey, shh, 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 shh. It's okay. You're gonna help me, right? Yeah, you are. Come, don't be shy. Come here. Come here. Like it? Here. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I swear I don't feel like asking you more than once. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it right fucking now. You fucking eat it. Okay, and that was the banana short. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, I had fun making it, watching it again. And, and since it is such a ridiculous short, and I remember uh, both Chili and Mr. Lemon just cracked up after every take, like, so I'll include some bloopers so you can get an impression of that. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm looking at the banana, you know? <laughs> it's, 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 it's,